It's a beautiful Saturday morning here in Southwest Florida. I've got a little work to do in the food forest today. So hang out with me for a few minutes and I'll show you what's going on. I got some plants in the mail yesterday, so I need to pot them. And spoiler alert, one of them is a pineapple. I'm actually gonna put that in the food forest and transplant some other pineapples. First thing I need to do is make some soil for those new plants. So I'm just sifting through a combination of oak mulch and palm mulch that has been sitting here for over a year. So there's some good compost slash soil that I can use for the pots. The way I usually do it is I'll sift out the fine stuff, put it here, dump the big pieces here, use that as potting soil, use that as mulch. This is the finished product. The oak adds mostly nitrogen, and then the palm mulch is going to add phosphorus and potassium. So nitrogen for growth, phosphorus, potassium for flowering fruit. And we've got a little bit of actual mulch, the bigger pieces down here. I put these new food forest plants in pots already. So over here we have, it's a guava, Ruby Supreme. This is actually a jade plant. I've always loved jade plants. I didn't know they were edible. This will be interesting in the food forest. This over here is an almond bush, very fragrant. And this one back here, it's another guava. And this is also a guava. I lost a tag on that. I think that is known as a pink guava. Let me check the packing slip. Barbie pink. Bubble. I'll put these in the ground sometime closer to rainy season. Now let's go take a look at the pineapples. This is the pineapple that I bought. It's a Florida special. I kept it in the packaging. I'm going to plant that today. I'm also going to transplant a few pineapples that I have planted in a bad spot where it floods. I'll show you that too. These are some pineapple plants that I started from store-bought pineapples. This area got crushed by Hurricane Ian. Then there was a whole bunch of flooding. I don't think I like it. I'm not even sure if that one's still alive. So I'm going to dig these guys up and put them somewhere better. Oh, this one didn't make it. That's too bad. I think there's another one over here somewhere. It's not easy to kill pineapple in Florida. All right, let's go transplant these bad boys. Okay, I'm gonna put all four of these near my soursop. I think my soursop's roots are lonely. Soil's a little bit better over here.
and these two I'll put a little bit closer together. Here we go. We'll see how that does. I'll put this next one over by my other soursop tree. Look at that sweet potato. This one has some great packaging. And we actually have a sucker already. I think I'm going to take that off. As a bonus, we got a nice sweet potato and a sucker with roots. So I'll plant this little sucker nearby, also by the soursop tree. I've got one final thing to do. I'll do it off camera. I'm sure you understand the concept. I'll go get a bucket of pond water and water those pineapples in. They should be good to go after that. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.